Hey guys, I know a lot of us have been so eager and excited for the new Catalina Mac OS and the new iPad OS so that we can finally pair the iPad with the computer so that we are able to use a Photoshop and Illustrator and be able to actually create directly onto uh, our iPad and have it reflect on the screen. So this is a huge game changer, particularly for me, I have a lot of issues with my wrists. So this is gonna help take a lot of tension off of having to use the mouse and having that muscle constantly strain. So I have my document that I want to edit in Photoshop and this one in particular is going to be kind of a pain because I'm going to be outlining these leaves and I want some precision here. If I do just a quick uh, selection, Chances are it's not gonna do a very good job, so I typically like to outline these by hand. And so that's why I wanted to use this as my example so that you can see how easy it is to now use the iPad to do this um, while it's actually on the computer. So all that you need to do is go up here to your mirror icon, your AirPlay, and you'll see that your iPad is coming up here. So you can just select your iPad and then your iPad now has your computer screen on here. So there's options. You can either choose to use your, um, your iPad as a separate monitor, which is really convenient, or if you want it to actually mirror what's going on on the screen, you'll just go right back up to the same icon here. It's gonna be in blue, showing that it's screen sharing. Right now it's used a separate display. So we're gonna change that to mirror built-in retina display. And now I have the document that I want on the screen. I will still need to use my keyboard, so I have it here uh, conveniently. I also have my mouse. You'll need to use those things to navigate Photoshop, but as far as actually using the tools in Photoshop, you'll be able to do that directly with your pencil, um, with your iPad pen or with your Apple pencil. You can increase and decrease the size with your, with just your pinch gesture and then, um, pan around using the space bar and your pencil. So I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm just gonna start creating my tracing. So I'm gonna go in with my lasso tool. So that's L as a shortcut on your keyboard. You can also select it right up here. And then I'm on my regular lasso tool. And now I can actually go in and start drawing directly exactly the selection that I need. And then just like when you're using Photoshop, remember that if you need to stop and pan, you can always press space and that's gonna let you pan around and you still have that lasso selected. So to make that easier for you to pan exactly where you want, set it down and then continue. It's helpful even if you have to just adjust your grip a little bit. And once you do whatever it is that you wanna do, you can create a mask, you can cut a background out. And options are limitless, but that was incredibly easy in comparison to using the mouse. So I hope this video is helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.